morning, y'all. So we are actually snowed in. Um, they canceled worship service and everything. Like there's ice on the roads, all of that. So um, last night, I was trying to make a video, but I was tired and um, it just was not working out. So I was like, let me try to do it this morning. I wanted to answer the question that our beautiful sister in Christ had asked me concerning like, what is it like talking to your kingdom spouse um, and waiting for it to come to pass? And I think that one is just like waiting for any other prophecy to come to pass, right? Like that's what's hard. You knowing the end, you prophesying in part, you seeing different parts and like, when is this going to happen? Right. But I would say when it comes to a relationship, because this is new for me too, um, it's harder because it involves a whole other person. So like I've been telling y'all, everything's been mirroring, right? So with my work situation, it was one of those things where like, I knew God was giving me double for my trouble. Like I knew that was the word, but I didn't know that he was doing it over there until they told me, right? And so from that point, it was like status updates for months, okay? But then the frustration built in and came in here recently because it was like, how much and when, right? And so um, with the work, it's a little different because, you know, you can ask them. With the relationship, you can't do that, right? Like, we don't want to prematurely wake up Adam. We don't want to influence it. We don't want to try to be God, right? And so the way I see being able to talk to who I believe is my kingdom spouse, us communicating, I see that as status updates and it's confirmation, like, from God. Like, I'm still in this. I'm still moving in the midst of y'all. I'm still doing this. You get what I'm saying? And so being able to talk to him, that helps with the confirmation, Confirmation of the word in its entirety, but again, that's what builds in the frustration because it's like, to an extent, I'm waiting on the whole like, you my wife and let's get married. But I'm I'm sure if we get our brothers in Christ to comment or whatever on this one, they still have to wait for a green light from God. Like even if they know, they still have to wait for God to be like, okay, go get her. Like you know, and so that's the aspect that ties into it. Not only that, but um, depending on the situation too, right? Because last night, I think that's why I was having the hardest time recording the video because we're all in different situations. Our relationships are all different. For some of us, we may be being restored back to somebody we used to date. However, being that we are prodigals and we were all, you know, not all, but the prodigals may or may not have been dating counterfeits. You don't know when God revealed it to them or to you. Right? Because it's a whole lot of God is about to use some foolish things to confound the wise, okay? For reasons y'all may not be talking. Y'all might not be talking, period, because God hasn't released the man to even say something to you. Y'all might not be talking, period, because of a situation or even relationship that they might be in or something. And then you have boundaries in place by God because we're not out here. We're not moving like that. Okay. Like, which goes back to the Esther and Vashti and all that stuff that we have been um, talking about over this course. So for some of y'all, if you know, you know, for some of y'all, um, it's a Y'all may not even be in the place where you're in a courtship, so you're not talking to them, okay? Y'all might uh, start interacting, you're in a courtship, and it accelerates quickly, or you start a courtship and it doesn't, or for some, you may be going back and having to rebuild and, and, and talk about things and heal together. So for my particular situation, we are indeed healing together, but not only that, we are growing together, right? And so the other point I wanted to make in all of this and being able to communicate, right? As God has been showing me so many confirmations through him, OK, it's truly helping me to learn and grow in just my prophetic gifting in general. Like, am I hearing you right? Like really wondering if I'm hearing him right. And then out of his mouth, the kingdom spouse, it's like, oh, wait a minute. Like, you know, like and so I'm learning. And then some of the instances where it's like um, just even with the masquerading spirits, like figuring that part out with the dreams. And I told y'all that was something that messed us up in the past. Like, I didn't know that was a thing, okay? So that's making me learn how to seek God. Like, was that you? Why did you let me see that? What insight are you giving me to warfare? All of that, but then also pushing us to be better communicators, to talk to each other, to learn how to work as a team in all regards. You get what I'm saying? So God is using it 
in a beautiful way in my situation to where I'm learning and growing as a person, but also in my prophetic gifting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody's situations is different. It may be a thing to where like y'all like strangers and y'all meet. And it's like, this is what God was telling me about my husband this whole time. This is what God was telling me about my wife this whole time. And then we all meet and y'all start conversing. It's like, boom, 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 all at once. Right. For some of us, it's gradual. And that goes back to the uh, word I released about appreciating the now and how things come into full, uh, restoration or manifestation because again some of y'all might not be entering into kingdom relationships where it's one that is being restored okay um along with that the biggest thing i would say in me trying to record the video last night was no matter what's going on in your relationship your situation don't think because you're not texting or talking to your uh kingdom spouse via the telephone or whatever don't think that you're not actually talking to them because if that is truly your kingdom spouse y'all are talking via the spirit okay whether you know it or not whether they know it or not okay there is this knowing right there is this um like even when I was a little girl, I wouldn't say too little, but even when I was younger, I knew like what my husband was going to be like. And that's because God was telling me, does he tell you in simple things like you like that in a man? You like that about a man? Of course. But as I got older, it was like I knew what my husband would be like. I felt him. I sensed him even before I knew who he was. That's why it's so important. People don't understand like... um. You, you don't know who your husband is when I was going through that, but I know it's not you. How do I know that? Because I feel my husband. I know what my husband is like, okay? And we're able to do that because if that's your kingdom spouse, y'all talk via the Holy Spirit. Y'all are connected via God's Holy Spirit. God has shown me that, okay? Again, really, really cool. It's some stuff I just can't tell y'all until I'm telling you with him, okay? And um, But you speak, and I want to give y'all this one example. Up. One night I was on the floor in worship, talking to God, wouldn't even think about my kingdom spouse. I was thanking God for just um, how far he's brought me. I was like, God, this is as close to you as I have ever been. I thank you for this alignment. I kid you not. It was like my kingdom spouse's spirit was in the room with me and held my hand in worship. Okay. While I'm lit, my hands are lifted. I'm talking to God. It was like he was right there with me in worship with me. I felt the oneness so strong that night. Okay, like it was me, God, and him. Why? Because it's a, a, a three-stranded core. Well, God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Not only that, but like y'all are truly one. And the closer you get to God, the closer y'all get to each other, the more you feel each other, the more you sense each other, okay? That's just like an example like that. But there have been moments, like even last night, where I'm talking to God and I'm like, hey, like this kind of bothering me or I, I wish he would do this or, you know, or like, God, give me strength if, you know, he ain't gonna do that or whatever, right? will ding or the phone will ring and he'll even tell me you know like I don't know why but and I know why because I just prayed about it or because I was talking to God about it and God put it on his heart especially when it comes to like my own insecurities and needing reassurance and stuff and it's always a I don't know why because um he in a place where he's not uh like dreaming like that and I know that when I was in my season of not dreaming. I know why I wasn't dreaming. And it's not so much that I wasn't dreaming. It was why can I remember it? It felt like every time I woke up, something was just like snatching my dreams. Okay. And that was demonic. But hear me out. Even when that happens, even now, sometimes I'll wake up and be like, was he in my dream? And it'll just be like a knowing or something will happen throughout the day. And I'll randomly think of something, but that's not what it is. God has already shown me in some way or told me in some way. And he will confirm it on his in okay and so um i had another dream okay another dream and it was like me and him were sitting there and god was telling us like this is who you're supposed to be with this is who you're supposed to be with i didn't know until that day when i woke up and i remembered it and i don't know if y'all like this but sometimes when you wake up it's overwhelming when you remember a dream because it's like i've been dreaming this like this is a recurring dream and that's how i felt that day and i was frustrated because i was like was i dreaming this when i was in the relationship with the other dudes because you're making it plain as day in this dream. Like, this is who I'm supposed to be with. But that was one of those dreams where it was getting snatched. And I didn't remember until this season. You get what I'm saying? So, um, regardless, it'll be a knowing. Okay? I'm just trying to give some real life examples. And making sure that I'm making it clear that everybody's situation is different. But overall, being able to talk to them is just confirmation. Now, this is how I'm going to end it. I was so frustrated. Probably, like... Two months ago, like after I had kind of accepted it and then I was trying to like really stand and figure out how, like, how does this even work? Right. Cause this is new to me. 
my parents didn't know they were supposed to be together. They didn't have a prophetic love story, right? Like I didn't grow up hearing people be like, oh, well, I knew this was my spouse or my whatever because God showed me in a dream or a vision or he told me this and he, I didn't see that growing up. So for me to be experiencing it, it's kind of like, Everybody I've ever dated, it was never no, and that, and okay, and that's important too, like, it was never no, um, you know, like, well, God told me you was my husband. It was never that. It was me, like, I, I knew God was telling me was about to get married, right, and me trying to even force it on the last counterfeit, and that's another thing. I think I said it in a, another video, like, when I was starting to tell him, like, what God was saying, actually, and the other one, it was, like, breaking news to them, like, God did not tell them that, like, you get what I'm saying? And that's why I keep stressing, God is going to be talking to the both of you. It ain't going to be no one-sided thing. What God is telling you, he's telling him. And that was confirmed to me in my dream when we were both finding out at the same exact time. It ain't going to be like breaking news to them, okay? It's been the first instance where it's truly like, I know what God is saying. But again, I can't run over to him like, hey boy, you my husband, let's do this. Like, I can't do that. And I'm also having to learn how to know my role, play my role in my marriage, right? Like I told you, um... He was telling me to play the position in it. And me and him even joke about it. As much as we communicate, it still ain't been no, look, stop playing with me. You my husband. We say different things. I let him know different things. He's aware of different things, but it's still not my role to do that. That's his role. And so I've been learning that in this season too. Like even the spiritual shooter, all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm growing all around in the knowing of this is what God is saying, okay? And it's testing my faithfulness. It's testing my obedience. It's testing my... I remember I told y'all, like, hold it down. And he told me that before God had given me that word and I released it. And I always think that's funny. Like, if y'all knew, like, the majority of the words that I come on here and release, he has confirmed them through my kingdom spouse some way, okay? Got off on a tangent. The point I was trying to make was a couple months ago, I was so frustrated. I was like, mom, how are people who are not prophets? prophetic how do they know who they're supposed to marry like I, I've had the dreams I've had the visions even when um it was the wrong faces and stuff like I knew what God was saying what the conversations that were supposed to be having had and all that right I was like mom how do people who aren't prophetic get married because her and my dad weren't operating in that at the time when they were young and they were getting married and it's a peace thing right like what we keep saying feeling God's peace on it feeling God's presence on it and you're gonna feel that when he has connected y'all okay whether you actually talk in real life in the physical or you don't you're gonna feel that like just like some of the um sisters in Christ who commented on the video the other night some of them said I don't know who he is but I hear his heart crying out for me you get what I'm saying like physically talking and communicating that's just one level of manifestation of it right but overall it was already ordained spiritually and so you gonna feel that peace and God's presence on it because God did it it's a beautiful thing but it's also frustrating because again sometimes I wake up and I just want him to confirm like the whole word did God tell you I'm your wife like what's going on because I know what he told me right some days I just want him to let me know and then I, I, I'd probably be chilling if I just knew right like okay like that's kind of what's happening with my uh money right now like once they told me when and for how much it was like okay well I'm gonna just wait you know because I already knew but like now I got some more details I could chill now wait for y'all to do what it do I do need that. I'm not going to act like I don't need that over here. Like, that would help. But also, not stressing him, not putting pressure on him, going to God. God, can you confirm it? God, I'm feeling away. God, I'm feeling like he don't love me. And when I do that, when I tell y'all, God, go hit him with all that. But it's vice versa. God does the same thing to me. Like, sometimes I don't know why. You know why. It's the Holy Spirit putting it on your heart. But I will feel the need to tell him something specific or reassure him about something um, whatever the case may be. And that is because y'all are connected regardless. You feel each other's emotions. You feel when each other's going uh, under warfare, but also because you're one, you feel it like that because you're one. Like the other day when I had told y'all, like I was about to give up on the whole thing, right? And um, he ended up letting me know he had thought about me earlier. And I'm thinking like, I will hope so. I was about to block you, boy. I was about to block you, sir. I would hope you would feel that, right? And um, so this is another point because in listening, y'all may be like, um, I could do that in other relationships. Like I could sense them and I could. And that's something that always tripped me up because I am what had always been so spiritually gifted. There's a difference in being spiritually gifted and anointed. But because I had always been so spiritually gifted, pretty much anybody I dated, I could sense them. Like I'm one of those people where it's like once I touch you, it's over with. Like I could probably see you in, in, in the spirit, dream life. God can give me insight about you. 
all of that, right? And so that used to happen, especially when it was a soul tie put in place by sin, right? By having sex. Now you really feeling them because I used to know my other ex was cheating on me all of the time. I would feel funny. I would see it in a dream, but then there would be evidence in real life. You get what I'm saying? And so it can kind of get tricky when it's like, okay, God, how do I not know? Like, how do I know that it's you? How do I know that it's just not me sensing and being spiritually gifted? How do I know? He has to confirm what he is showing you via the dreams and all of that. And so in this particular instance, now we are not sinning. So how is it that I still sense you so strongly if it's not a soul tie in place from sexual sin, right? And even if it is, okay, Holy Spirit, or was, and you've repented of it, you've, um, you know, pled the blood of Jesus over yourself, and y'all have both asked for forgiveness and you're not doing it. How is it that I still sense you so strongly? Because them other folks that I had soul ties with, I don't feel them no more. I don't, I don't know what's going on with them. I don't, I don't have a, ooh, I wonder what's wrong with such, that don't happen no more because the soul tie has been destroyed by the blood of Jesus, okay? I was powering the connection if you're not sitting sexually, which is why it's important to be celibate. Why do I sense him so strongly? Because it's God's Holy Spirit. Y'all still talk and communicate. Your spirits do, okay? Whether you know each other, whether you all across the world, whether you hear he there, whether it don't matter. Y'all sense each other, each other's feelings, everything that God will give you insight. And that's how you know it's God. And then he will confirm it. And he doesn't just confirm it through him. He confirms it through other people too. But for me, it's like a real deal status update on our relationship when he confirms it through him. Like if I have a vision or a dream or something and then me and him praying and he says it out of his mouth, that has happened before. And I'm like, why you use that word of all words? And it's God showing me like, I'm here. It's me because we don't believe in coincidences, right? Only confirmations. So regardless of if you're talking to them or not, it's the same feeling and waiting on any type of prophecy to come to pass, right? Like it's the waiting part. Talking to him help? Of course. That also brings in some warfare, right? Like a lot of our warfare. So I, I have felt it when it was like, I don't want to talk to him and it's not logical. It's not God. Like it's like, why do I not want to talk to him? What's making me want to pull, like come away from him? Witchcraft warfare the devil don't want y'all union okay which goes back to the word i did earlier these power couples i didn't get i didn't take it all there because i was posting on instagram too but y'all it's real deal witchcraft and warfare i used to get sick coming around him haven't told him this me and him talk about a lot i know y'all probably wondering like does he watch her videos because how just he real busy he working like, like a lot of times i was like god what he doing he like working like you need to be focused doing your kingdom assignments okay but um i would get sick and he doesn't know that like i would truly get sick to the point to where it's like i don't want to come around him because i know how sick i feel when i come around him do y'all know that just stopped happening and god showed me where that was coming in from who that was coming in from and i started praying against that all like true life and so um i think our testimony would be powerful just in people being able to hear both sides of it right and um I think for us, like the moments where we do talk and I'm like, what was happening or what happened? And like, even how God has confirmed it through a dream before that he had no idea what I was over here praying and stuff. And that's part of it. Like, I got to know when God is releasing me to release different things to him, confess different things to him, tell different things to him. Right. And um, a lot of the times me and God will just kind of laugh about it. Like he'll say something and I'm like, <laughs> he don't even know I prayed that. Or he don't know that I asked God to show him that in a dream. You get what I'm saying? And God did it. So it's a lot. But I think that regardless of how your testimony is set up, regardless of how your love story is playing out, you can indeed talk to your kingdom spouse. Okay. Via God's Holy Spirit. You are indeed talking to them, whether you know it or not. And um, it's a blessing either way. And this patience I know that it's easier said than done but patience because it's still weird even though i'm over here communicating and i don't know like well i can't even say that right because my knowing has even just increased here lately like the other day when i was thinking about blocking him running off like girl one he's not gonna let you do that at all period not happening but um even if it's just a longer waiting process then i i would want right for it to be fully uh restored fully um manifested physically fully okay and that i'm telling y'all that's what it be it's the it's the full manifestation 
Like, that's how I was getting mad at work. Like, first of all, y'all going to run me my stuff. Like, that's what y'all going to do. And you're going to tell me when you're going to run me my stuff. And that's a little different. And you're going to tell me how much, right? But again, that's different. I didn't say it like that, but that was how I felt. And um, it's kind of different. And so now that I know for sure when and all that, and I got more details around it, I feel more secure. A prophetic love story. Y'all, I ain't never heard of this. So whether you waiting on your spouse to return and it's a... Uh, y'all run off in the sunset together immediately or y'all got to take some time to heal and build and grow together, which is more so in my case, or y'all are complete strangers and y'all going to meet each other and it's going to be on and popping just like that. You start a courtship and it's accelerated because y'all both know, y'all both know what God been saying. You're going to be able to identify each other like that and run off into the sunset, okay? Or y'all don't know each other, but y'all starting to know each other. You got some peace and confirmation and then you walking along, walking along and it's a gradual thing everybody is different okay everybody is different so i think i answered her question and talked about some more stuff okay so i pray this helps somebody um i love y'all i'll see y'all in the next upload okay